have seen life change. I have seen students from high school uh, be able to apply for scholarships abroad. I can see students from elementary school that are, they are bilingual, that they can speak not only English or Spanish, but they can also speak their native language. I have seen very proud parents, very, very proud teachers. I have seen a change in the way teachers teach. And for me, that's the most important thing of Panama Relief. The parents were very happy because they were able to see their kids learn English without paying a private school. It was a TESOL conference and we met with a person that did the global scale of English. And as I said, we, I was very impressed and I read about it and I said, let's, let's try to do it in Panama. Why don't do it? Let's try to do it. And if we test you and it says that you are A1, and next year we test you and it says you are still A1, it can give you a certain idea of frustration. But if we tell you that you were here and you move from this to this segment, then they will see that they have progress. And if they see that, they will be, they will be motivated to continue studying. And it gives you a lot of detail and the tests that we are using give us a lot of information and follow-up information. And for me, that's very important. We usually say that doctors never stop learning, but teachers never stop learning. There is always something new that you can put into practice in your classroom. And by doing this, your students are happy and you are happy in your classroom. And what you do, you do it with your heart. That the most uh, helpful uh, thing about the global scale of English has been the fact that uh, it ha it's aligned to the Common European Framework and also that it has, you know, that granular. It's, you know, so so that my students will be will see the progress. So it would motivate them because they could see the progress. We would like to see all the students graduating as bilingual professionals. Actually, that is is one of our goals in INSE. In addition to uh, receiving technical classes, all the students in ITSE will be required to take English classes as part of their curriculum. So by the end of the program, they should be at least a, a level B1 when they graduate. So they will increase their opportunities to be successful in the, in the professional fields since they will be a bilingual person or bilingual professional. We are the next generation of ITSE over the past 20 years the Panamanian government has been on a journey with education and I think recently through programs like Panama Bilingue there's been an acknowledgement that education is fundamental to the development of the country. It's absolutely essential that Panamanians are on a level playing field with other countries in this region when they're engaging internationally um, and I think the Panamanian government is really aware of that. Um, they've developed Panama as a hub, it's a logistics hub, it's a transport hub, a service hub but there's so much more that it could have to offer and one of the things I think that the government has identified that has been holding back Panamanians has been this lack of a global language where they can't engage and compete internationally in some of the opportunities there. Um, I think the programme of Panama Bilingue through training teachers who can then train the next generation of young students in English means that they can compete economically. It opens the door to jobs for them, it opens the door to tourism here in Panama, they can travel and they can access so many different commercial opportunities that at the moment are more challenging for them. 
The British education system is based on excellence and excellence means not just delivering excellent teaching but also an assessment process that challenges students to show how well they're doing but that can be used to help the teachers then improve their styles, improve their techniques. Not every student will learn the same way, not every student has the same abilities and it's absolutely fundamental that the teachers are able to assess their students properly as well as being assessed themselves as teachers so they can continue improving. So the British Embassy has been supporting the Panamanian government um, with the Panama Billing Bay programme since its very beginning. Uh, we send uh, students every year to the UK to universities um, and since 2014 we've sent over 800 students uh, to UK universities. Uh, Panama Bilingue has been an amazing programme that we've been proud to support and be a part of uh, because it not only provides opportunities for British companies and British education systems but it develops Panama and provides opportunities for Panama as well. I'm very proud of Panama Bilingue because uh, I have seen how more than 6,000 Panamanian teachers are going to be trained in schools, uh, universities outside Panama, how they're bringing that skills to our public schools in Panama, training our kids, the future generations. And by seeing these kids graduate from all these high schools and public schools years from now, fully bilingual, you know, entering the job market, working, being a successful professionals. Because many of the jobs that our service-based economy creates require English as a second language. So if they don't speak English, they're not going to be able to apply for the jobs that our economy is creating. To invest in the future generations, making sure that they speak English as a second language because it's a global language. I think this is going to have a real impact in our education because it will open the minds of our kids to be global kids. That's the main challenge and the main objective.